What's up, Wolf Pat? Welcome back to another episode of Lone Wolf TV. I am your host, HBK Nanga, and this is where hip hop meets wrestling. And everything I talk about is too sweet. Welcome to Two Guys, One Ring. And today we're doing a fantasy draft pay per view booking booking card. I had to get that right. You're good. You're good. You're uh, good. We're doing it. AEW. Versus WWE, if they were to ever cross paths and make a pay per view. So he's going to pick. So I made a match card. 12 matches. I'm going to pick 12 matches. Yep. And we're going to throw a match. We, ever, we even made up a pay per view name. We don't know who's on each other's cards or our pay per view names yet. We want y'all down in the comments to rate our shows out of five stars. And we want you to. who Whose pay per view would you watch about more? So basically, this is something new on Two Guys One Ring. Um, I've seen other videos, not kind of similar, but nothing like this. So you want to? Let's start it. Well, before we before we start, I attended a WWE WWE show tonight. Sunday Stunner. I never heard of it. It was in Roanoke, and I just want to show off my new merch. So this right here is. RK Bro, 420, and look at the back, this shit is so dope, you want to read it back? I think it says, it says RK Bro, 420 says, I just smoked your ass. That shit is fire, that it's shit is fire, fire. I, had, I had to show y'all that man, it was a dope show, let's get into this fight card. Alright, up first, what is the name of your pay-per-view? So, the name of my pay-per-view is called The Mega Event, The Mega event okay it's an event like no other okay all right my show name is called the best in the world it's kind of similar kind of similar both dope names uh all right what you got what, what's your match number one now i don't know if these are in specific <laughs> order of how we're mine's in pacific order like you would start your show like this yeah all right yours in, is yours in order it's not in detail hey, you know what i could go with mine in the order it's like fuck it all right, fuck it. All, All right. right, what you got? Number First one. match, opening the show. It's no pre-show because this is a huge event. First match, I'm going my WWE person, Ricochet, versus AEW's The New Generation of Sting, Darby. So Ricochet versus Darby is my first match. Okay, all Pretty right. Dope I match. can respect that. All right, my first match is to kick it off hot. It's got to start <laughs> hot. Is a five on five women's elimination match for Team WWE. I've got Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, Ronda Rousey, and Damn. Bianca Belair. Huh? Versus for AEW, Britt Baker, Tony Storm, Jade Cargill, Thunder Rosa, and Ruby Soho. You went all out. You went all out. Hey, you gotta go all out. Is that five get... on five? Five on five, baby. I like that. I five like that. Five. I like that. What five you got? Five. Number two. Uh. Number two, my AEW guy is Chris Jericho versus Finn Balor from WWE. Second match on the card, Jericho versus Balor. Okay. My match number two is going to be the Undisputed Elite consisting of Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly versus three members of the New Day. Damn, three members of the New Day. Yep. Okay, I respect that match. I respect that match. Uh, that kind of caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. Next match, we got. It's my go. Yep. AJ, the phenomenal AJ Styles versus Brian Danielson. AJ Styles from WWE. Brian Danielson is from AEW, okay, okay. and Bret Hart is the special guest commentator for this match. Comes down ringside and he commentates this match. Okay, all right, all right. My next match it ain't too hot, but I'm gonna have the bastard pack versus Drew McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we got something going now. We got some going. Next match. This right here is where it gets a little interesting. 
we have a cage match between John Moxley and Champa, your guy. Champa fights Moxley in a cage match. Moxley AEW, Champa WWE. Okay, alright. I've got the rated R superstar. Oh man. Taking on his brother, Christian. Okay, okay. I like that. I think I like that'd that. be good, man. I like they, they, that. they fought in the past when neither one was a bigger guy. They were still the tag like tag team splitting off, but now they both had a career, and it's time for them both to rematch against each other. And uh, Moxley, every Moxley match is worth watching, whether hey, it's hardcore or fucking. Just gonna put this out here just uh, so we can take a cut real quick. Okay. Did you watch the Fatal Four Way match for the IWGP for New Japan? No, you didn't watch. I think it was John Moxley, Juice it. Robertson. <laughs> Will Ospreay, I think it was Okada. I didn't watch it. Is this new? Go back and watch it. Yeah, that played a four-way match is fucking phenomenal. I didn't watch it. I need to get yeah. some. Dude, no, Champa, man. hold on. Champa, Champa, NXT, he's, he's coming up. He he's, in, he's on the main roster. He's a workhorse. Um, He's a workhorse. His matches are dope. And I think he would give uh, Moxley a run for his money. What you got for number five? No, that was number five, right? Number six. Yeah. No, that was number five. Oh, yeah, that was number five. What did you skip over one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, next match. We have the Usos versus the Young Bucks versus FTR versus the Street Profits. Fatal. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Yeah, oh, Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Hey, that's Get fucking the crazy. Fuck out that's of here. So, all right, crazy. since he's doing that, I'm gonna bump this up. I also have the Young Bucks versus the Usos versus that's FDR fucking, versus hey, the Street I Profits. I haven't seen his list. I, I swear. haven't seen his, but that's fucking crazy. That is crazy. That is fucking crazy. All right, well then, fucking go to <laughs> go to your next match. All right, so that's the first one we have a like. That's that's very shocking. That's crazy, and uh, I, I kind of added that match last minute too. And I've didn't. had this match since we've done it. <laughs> Next match, Charlotte Flair, best WWE champion versus Britt Baker, best women's wrestler in Okay, AEW. all right. My next match, since we just did the Fatal 4 way, I've got the Lucha Brothers versus the Mysterios. That'll be a dope match. That'll be a dope match. All right, what are we at, number seven? Number seven, Ronda Rousey. Champion Ronda Rousey. Let me guess. She faced a J card deal. Thunder Rosa. Wow. Okay. Thunder Rosa. Champ that's, versus champ. That's not where I thought she was going. But yeah. Right. Next match, I've got a six man tag. I've got, got the, a lot of fucking. Gotta get everybody guys, time, God bro. damn. I've got the Hardys teaming up with Darby to take on Riddle, Sheamus, and Shane McMahon. Shane? Shane always comes back for the big events. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Number eight. Brock Lesnar versus Warlow. That's another one. I also have Brock versus Warlow. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that is we nuts. Have. I mean, we have two men. I mean, I think everybody wants to see that. We talked about that uh, yeah. earlier in the week. Yeah. Uh, the right. biggest two guys, size-wise. Yep. That'd something. be a good match, too. It'd be a quick match. Yeah. But what you got for number nine? The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes versus your guy, CM Punk. Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to see okay. that. Okay. All right. Fantasy. This match right here, I know it's twenty years past what it should should have been taking place, but I've got the Icon Sting versus the Dead Man, the Undertaker. Mm, a lot of people want to see that. I want to see that. I mean, it's it's kind of old, but. I think people I my care. people from like I don't care. You put that match on card, it's gonna sell out. On down, they might want to see it. It's gonna sell out. Yeah, Sting versus the Undertaker. That would uh, sell out. I agree with that. All right, what you got for number ten, bud? Next match: John Cena, the champ is here, versus Adam Page, special guest referee, The Big Show. Why? That was a curveball. I don't know why. Is there a match on there you've skipped? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, so I brought that down. Okay. All right. So, we got John Cena versus Adam Page. Adam Page, AEW champion. John Cena, arguably one of one of the best WWE champions. Big Show, special guest referee, because he's been in both WWE and AEW. And he 
it's a big ship. Okay. <laughs> All right. My my next match is probably the most technical match of the night. I've got Brian Danielson versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That would be dope. That would be dope. Yeah, for sure. Um, next match. 420. RK Bro. 420 says, I just smoked your ass. RK Bro versus the Hardy Boys in our ladder match. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. On match 11, I've got Kevin Owens versus Hangman. Adam Kevin Page. Owens versus Adam Page, really? Okay. Dude, I, dude, Kevin Owens, dude, he's a good, he's a good wrestler. He no, is. He know. is. I like KO. All I right. like Kevin. What you got for your main event, big fella? Now, when you pick in a main event, uh, this is a, a pay per view between two of the best promotions, right? So some people say that Roman Reigns I'm waiting to is the best WWE champion ever. Some people say this. Some people say Kenny Omega is the best AEW champion ever. So that's my main event. Roman Reigns versus Kenny Omega. May the best champ win. You know what? From listening to your card, I'm very disappointed you don't have one guy on that card. Who is that? Maxwell Jacob Freed. He didn't make the cut. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who do you? Who's your main event? My main event is a five on five oh, war man. games match. That'd be dope for Team WWE. I have the head of the table, Roman Reigns. The Legend Killer, Randy Orton. Okay. Seth freaking Rollins, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And the phenomenal AJ Styles. That'll be dope. Team WWE. Okay? That'll be dope. Team AEW. Another five on five. Bro. Kenny Omega. John Moxley. Okay. MJF. Chris That's Heavy. Jericho. That's heavy. And of course, the pair of name the best in the world. You can't have you cannot have the best of the world not in the car. C M. That's a dope match. Dope 5 and 5. He likes them 5. And AEW, AEW 5 likes WWE 5 in this board games match. Personally. Now, I didn't discuss the way the match ended. So, Roman fights Kenny Omega, right? And then the bloodline comes and tries to interfere. And guess who comes out? Every member of the Bullet Club that ever existed nah, in any that's promotion. That's not happening. And they come, they come out... And they fight the bloodline, and they clear the ring, and everybody too sweets it, and then the pay-per-view goes off. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. This is the mega event. <laughs> All right, look, you went a little far right. there, dude. They hey, done, this is a part of it, look, though. Look, this is a part of look, it. They done cut their, part of they done cut their ties from the Bullet Club. Dude. I mean, I mean, hey, look, something this big, it could happen. Something this big, a WWE and an AEW. Do you imagine you what gotta, that would do for you wrestling? Look, you got to look at it like this, though. Is Vince McMahon really going to let Omega beat Roman Reigns? I didn't say. I didn't say he wins. I said Bloodline comes out and then who won the match? Nobody. Bloodline <laughs> interferes because that's what would happen. In, that's what would happen. They oh, wouldn't. They crazy. wouldn't let Rome. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let nobody. Win. That's crazy, dude. They won't let nobody. Win. Look, I, I'm surprised that we look. We did this together, but we did it separate. Like he went mm -hmm. off on his own and made it. And I made mine. I'm really surprised we have two of the same matches. Yeah, me too. I me knew. Too. We were, I knew we were gonna have one. I knew the Brock and the Warlord things would be the same. The Fatal Four. I can't believe you had Fatal Four away. You could have put RK Bro in there against the Street Profits. That could have been different. But I mean, RK Bro is fighting. The See, I, I have RKO broke up so. RK Bro is fighting the Hardy Boys. And then in my Fatal 4-Way, I got the Usos, Young Bucks, FTR. I'm trying to think about who you've left Street off your Pro card. Uh, no MJF. MJF. Um, you don't have Drew. Rhea Ripley. Yeah, but I, mean, um, I don't even have Ripley in my five for work. Bianca Bla Belair. You don't have her. You don't have Edge. I don't have... I, don't I know have you don't edge. like Edge. I don't have Edge. Um, you don't have the Lucha Brothers. You don't have Rey Mysterio. And my card is pretty, it's still pretty dope, though. Still pretty dope. Yeah, still is pretty dope. Um, By the way, this was just a, like, not a last minute video, but like, this is like one of those off the wall videos we wanted to post because we don't have like a, 
a review or a prediction to do this week, but I know next week we do have AEW predictions. The very first AEW predictions. And I can't wait, man. And I this guy wait. right here, you can see it right there by his ear. He's not getting that title back. Hey, wishful thinking. This guy's I'm not. Hey. AEW's mine. AEW's my show. You're not beating me. But when we do these predictions, you're going to see me struggle with the main event. Because I'm not decided yet who I want for the main event. I already know who I'm picking. I know who you're picking. I know who I'm picking. It's time for Adam Page to lose his title. <sighs> I don't want to ask you this. Since we're talking about WWE and AEW. Give me your favorite WWE guy right now, your favorite AEW guy right now. Favorite WWE guy is always going to be a Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. He's a workhorse. He's really okay. good in the ring. And you know my AEW guy. Adam, hey, Adam, Adam Bates. I love Heyman. I've liked Heyman since he was in New Japan with the Bullet Club. But, I mean, you can't just say, okay, you got one. You know everybody's got like three or four I people know. they like. I know. My favorite in WWE is probably Roman. Of course, Roman's my favorite. And then AEW, I'm going John Moxley. Yeah, but your favorite of all time is in AEW, bro. Uh, st- all time is Sting. Yeah. All time is Sting. Um, all right, you know what? We've got time. Fuck it. Give me your be- give me your favorite five from WWE and your favorite five from AEW. Right. So that's where we're doing it. You don't have to include women because I'm probably not going to include women in my top five. That's a whole different category. All right, top five WWE guys right now. That you that are your favorite. That are my personal favorite. Yep. Not who I think is the best. No, who, my who, personal, who, if you favorite. went to a WWE show, these who are the five people you would watch wrestling. See. Yep. All right. And do we, are we counting tag teams or no? Tag teams count as one. All right. Tag teams count as one. So I'm going Roman, Uso. So why didn't you just say the bloodline? That would have been bloodline. That's what. Well, that's one. Okay. The bloodline. Okay. Counted that as one. Cody Rhodes. Okay. AJ Styles. Okay. Finn, uh, Finn Balor. Finn That's Balor. four. That's four. And five, I'm going... Mm. Five, I'm going... Bobby Lugs? Nah, not nah, Bobby, not nah, Bobby, not nah, Bobby. Sorry, I'm probably going... Bobby Lashley. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the technically... Probably, those no, are no, the... no, 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 no. Take that back. Randy Orton. Okay. So those are the five you consider your favorite. Five favorite. Okay, my five favorite from WWE right now is uh, I love Randy Orton. Love him since I was a kid. Rollins, Edge, Tommaso, and Breaker. That's a good five. I like those five. That's a good five. Six man. Uh, six man? Bobby Lash. No. <laughs> That's my six man, Bobby Lash. Uh, if I put somebody in the six hole, man, it's probably, I'll probably put Cody in the six hole. Okay. AEW? You yeah. Go, you go first. Oh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> you go first because I'm the AEW guy. All right. Get out all of right here. So we're going Sting, of course. Okay. Um, we're going to go Sting. Moxley. F- Moxley, FTR. Okay. Um, that's three, right? Yeah. Young Bucks, that's four. Um, Darby. That's five. That's five. That's your top five? That's my top five. All right. My top five. Hang me. CM Punk. Big fan of FTR. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me back up real quick. Hold on a minute. WWE? You... WWE? Who did I say? I said Rollins. You said Rollins. Orton. Orton. Cody was six man. Rollins. Who else did I say? Rollins, Orton, I don't know. Champa, Breaker, and Edge. You left that job. I did left that job. All right, so AEW, it's definitely Hangman, Punk, FTR. I love what MJF does. He's good on the mic for damn sure. Five? If he, I don't know. He ain't there yet, but he should be. Um, I like Warlow too. Six man. Six I, man's yeah, Warlow. Warlow's not bad. Six man's Warlow. Number five, man. He's dead, but I'm taking Brody Lee. Mm. I pick. like what I like what Brody Lee did for AEW. Good pick. Now, while we on it right now, top two stables. No, top. Give me the best stable in, in WWE. The best stable in AEW. Go. Me personally, what I like. Yeah. Judgment Day. I'm going blue. I know. You're going blue. <laughs> See the shirt. Well, Judgment Day. AEW? 
AEW, you going with there's, Chess Stadium? There's too many. It's a lot of stadiums. There's a lot of Um, Me, you can do a runner up if you want to. Mm -hmm. No runner up. All right, so I'm going. Mm. It's a toss up between. I'm going to say House of Black, but it's. Yeah, a, you do like the House of Black. A close Black, second it? is Moxley's group. Oh, dude, I do like the Blackpool Combat yeah, Club. They're Blackpool pretty dope. Blackpool Combat Club. That's probably my top two right there. Mm, for me, does it like I'm just we're talking about currently, right? Yeah. Okay, because we were going like all time for AEW. I would definitely want to pick like the Inner Circle. I mean, that's um, good. you that's know what? Fuck it. You know what? I don't, I mean, I'm not the greatest fans of them, but you cannot like you cannot not like the Undisputed Elite. They're one of the greats. You got the Bucks, you got Cole, you got They're Red Dragon. But that's probably not my favorite, though. My favorite, I like the Dark Order because of Hangman. If uh, you like, you said Dark Order, I like Dark Order too. They're probably third. If something like this pay per view was to ever take place, this will be the biggest thing in wrestling to ever hit the wrestling mm -hmm. business. It will take over the wrestling business. It will. I mean, it would do numbers. See, AEW. Sell out and like, what What did... did That's what I'm saying. Like, AEW just did it with New Japan. It would Think sell Biggest event to ever cross with two companies. WWE would sell out. AEW would sell It was... Sell, them coming in together would sell out in 20 minutes or something like that. I would go. I would want to see that. Um, you got anything else you want to say before we wrap up this video? I don't know, man. Like, you need to tell the world who's put you on AEW and really drove it First in your head. All, First of all, hold on, hold on. I watched the first double of them. Um, and then I didn't think it was better than WWE. I thought it could be better than WWE. And he was telling me it's better wrestling, it's better product. So I started watching it, started watching it, started watching it. And I came to the conclusion that it is better than WWE. And also, he did help my decision, but he didn't put me on. Yeah, just like last Wednesday on Dynamite, you gave it a five star show that was better than any show Yo, WWE has night, put on or pay per view. Last week's Dynamite, year. last week's Dynamite, fire was better than any Raw I seen hey, this year. Stay tuned for this Wednesday Dynamite. It's gonna be twice as better. I can't wait, man. I twice can't as wait. better. Hey, before we sign off, let's get out here before this goes out there. Who do you think the Joker is in the Owen Hart Cup for the women's and the men's? Mm, women's, I don't know. I wanted to be Mickey James, but I wanted to be Mickey James. The men's it might be Miro. You think that? Me? I think Candace LeRae and her husband Johnny Gargano both debuted the same night. That's me. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Well, um, I guess that's Mickey that. James is a fantasy pick, by the way. <laughs> well, I guess that'll wrap it up until you see us again next Sunday for AEW predictions. And also, stay tuned when Double or Nothing goes live on pay-per-view we will be live streaming our reactions so i mean you know we can't show you the pay-per-view but you can see us and we also might have a special guest with us yeah we might we might uh might have a special guest with like us. comment subscribe we'll pack for life yeah make sure y'all comment down below whose pay-per-view is better we out of here we're out of here